welcome to the second vlog. So I've just been to the workshop, picked up my boat, had a new floor built for it, so hopefully it will be a bit more sturdy now. So I am currently on my way to Aqua Paradiso. For those of you who watched the previous vlog will know that we will be spending the next two weeks at Aqua Paradiso to host the annual trade show for our retailers. So all of your favorite shops will be there. We will be showing them all the cool and amazing products. We have an offer for you guys to buy. This includes, of course, all of your favorite Coda products, Mainline, Delcom, Daiwa, and of course, a lot of other angling facets as well. So I'm gonna jump in the car and I'll be seeing you guys at Aqua in just a sec. So here we are, Aqua Paradiso. I'm fishing my favorite swim on the whole lake, Swim 8. It's been very kind to me in the past. I've caught some of my biggest fish from the lake just in front of this nice plateau that Swim 8 is so popular for. But upon my arrival, I've actually noticed something very interesting. I don't know if you guys can see there, if memory serves me correct, this is the first time I see silkweed about at swim eight. Normally at swim 10, which is somewhere around there in the background, there's an abundance of all kinds of weed, silkweed, oxy oxygen weed, onion weed, and um, all the lovely and horrible stuff. I like fishing weed, but uh, some weeds are just not meant to be fished, to be honest. I love the silk weed, fairly easy to present in it. And I'm actually very glad that I stopped off at Kuabi from fishing at Bite Me because I'm going to try a different tactic to my usual aqu aqua tactics. Um, I've fished solid bags to very, very, very great success in the past. Never fished them at Aqua before, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to repeat on that success at Aqua. So I'm currently the only person at the lake. Well, it being a Monday, I suppose everyone else is at work, but being in the lucky position that I am, this is actually part of my work. I'm going to get myself settled in swim eight and hopefully I can get the rods out before sunset. And a bit later on, I'll share with you guys a bit more in depth what this whole aqua session or work slash session will be all about. See you guys in a sec. Finally managed to settle into my swim. Everything's just about ready to go. I just need to swap out the spools on my Emblem 45 reels because we are only allowed to fish mono at Aqua Paradiso due to the copious amount of snags present under the water. So I've currently got my braid spools still spooled from 
where were we last? Rotocopies, actually. But before I do that, I'm gonna enjoy what was supposed to be my lunch at four o'clock in the afternoon. So, oh, I'm gonna have a sit down, charm my eyes, chicken and mayo wrap. Luckily, I've got a note saved in my phone of the exact wraps that I need to be fishing to fish this plateau out in front of Swim 8 effectively. So, um, let me devour this wrap quickly and I'll catch up with you guys in a second. That took me a bit longer than expected, but I've got three solid bags tied up, rod wrapped up, ready to be cast out. But I just want to show you guys before I do that, because we are fishing in such deep water in excess of 30 foot, I'm going to dose those solid bags in the fruit smart liquid. That will just enable the bag to stay intact for a bit longer, enabling it to reach the bottom effectively and um, hopefully my rigs will be out and fishing so yeah let me get these rods in the water just show you guys the three solid bags ready to go let me get my fingers down and dirty and there you have it the dirty work done the solid bags are fully covered in the fruit smart liquid and um, yeah they're basically ready to be cast out and just show you guys I can fix the lighting over here the first rod will go in that direction so that's my horizon marker the middle rod will go in that direction so that little area there is my horizon marker and then the right hand rod will go on the edge of that tree over there just to the left of that blue platform in the water look at all the birds migrating to go to sleep before i can do that i must get my rods out get a bry on and hopefully I will be rewarded for my efforts. That took slightly longer than expected. However, the rods are in now. I'm already getting some form of funny indication down here. 
I think it might be bass. I saw some bass cruising along these margins a bit earlier. Where is my finger? Along these margins a bit earlier. Um, they're starting to wake up from their winter slumber. But yeah, uh, like I said, the rods are out. All three on solid bags, single solid bags. I've got no feed over the top of the solid bags. I did cast them onto the plateau. Um, in, if memory serves me correct, 19, 25 and 30 foot respectively. So those areas have uh, produced nice fish in the past. Like I said earlier, it has produced my biggest fish at Aqua Paradiso. So let's hold thumbs, fingers, that um, we get something during the night. But for now, I'm gonna settle into the night. It's getting a bit chilly now. So I need to get a jacket on, get the bry on, bry a nice rum steak, and hopefully, still getting these weird indications. Hopefully, I will have a fish to show you either in the morning or during the course of the night. You guys will be the first to know. morning unfortunately I've got nothing to report on the fishing front it's all been a bit quiet however my time does seem to last at about 10 o'clock in the mornings especially at swim 8 I did receive odd occurrences during the early hours of the morning a few liners so that might be a sign that there's fish in the area and I might still be in with a chance who knows so today the displays for the trade show will be arriving so i'll be receiving those around 12 o'clock and then later in the afternoon we will be joined by no other than gilbert so um i'm gonna wait the morning out quickly get a coffee on get a bit of breakfast done and then um, i'll catch up with you guys a bit later hopefully one of these rods rattles off and I might show you a fish before all of this hectic action starts. now which means we're still in bite time i've seen a few fish showing so confident of another bite i've had this fish on the right hand rod fished uh, a spinner rig in a solid bag with two essential cell quads fished pop-up style i'll show you guys that presentation a bit later on but um yeah it's a fairly big fish very interesting story around this fish actually the third time i've had her from the specific swim, swim eight. Uh, the third, well, the first time I had her was at 31 pounds. The second time at 32 pounds. And this time round, I had her at 33 pounds, four or eight ounces. I think it was four, 33, four. Nonetheless, um, I think, let me quickly, like I said, quickly tie up another solid bag, get that rod back out there. Hopefully I can have another one before Gilbert arrives. Um, and I'm, I'm, actu I'm actually gonna leave this fish in the sling 
so that Gilbert can help me with a bit of footage and some nice photos to show you guys. Uh, Gilbert will be uh, around 12 o'clock, so Fish is going to chill there for a while. And um, yeah, I'm quickly going to get this rod back out. So look what I found. How's it, guys? Finally made it after a big struggle. The truck finally managed to clear the tree canopy. So, um, yeah. After we had to destroy a couple of trees. Well, basically cut down <laughs> the forest. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do the hard work now, get the trade show uh, stand set up. Yeah. And then hopefully give you guys a bit more insight later on. Perfect. Sweet. Would you guys believe it? I've only gone on to have another really fat common. This is a really pretty fish, very dark. Very much still has it. It's winter form, very fat, dark across the back. It's all carnage in the swim at the moment. I was busy prepping feed because I was thinking of ditching the solid bags and dropping via the boat and um, I wanted to put a bit of bait out but I mean this is my second decent fish on the solid bag so hmm, it gives me something to think about I'm gonna sling this one up just sort this mess out a bit get this rod back and then I'll show you guys this one shortly. Ah. Well, there she is. It's the third time I'm lucky enough to hold her. All three times I caught her on basically the same bait, exactly the same spot. The only difference this time around is she's about a pound heavier. Ooh. Look at the size of a proper fat. There's a lot of fish in the area. A lot of big fish it seems. So hopefully I can catch another one just with a bit less scales. Some proper mirrors swimming around in aqua. And I am yet to actually catch one. Let's get this one back. Fresh rigs out. And um, see if we can get lucky. There you go guys, how's that for a proper dark, gold, ghosty, I'm not really sure what to call this fish, but uh, it's in proper winter form, all its winter colors, all its winter weight, uh, believe it or not, actually the smallest of the two I had today, again on that right hand rod, the solid bag, not a lot of bait, essentially a, 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 a single hook bait, uh, the hook bait of course being those two pop-up quads, uh, essential cell in the pink color. And um, yeah, it's actually, actually getting heavy now, just over 30 pounds. Um, yeah, I'm very chuffed with this one. If this is a sign of what's to come, then I'm very excited for the weekend. Let's quickly get this one back. The rods are already back. And hopefully I can catch one like this, just with a bit less scales. <laughs>
<laughs> Morning, guys. Look what I found. The star boy from the last vlog. <laughs> How's it, Taki? How was that for a wake up call? I'm very to be. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dirty one right guys so we, we we've approached the second morning unfortunately I had nothing during the night that was not due to a lack of activity just due to a lack of dropping two fish um, I don't know what happened there to be honest with you uh, with the fact that we're fishing barbless hooks um, I don't know if it might be the fact that I'm fishing out at range against a very steep drop off, barbless hooks. Um, yeah, honestly, can't tell you what happened there. Both times I struck into the fish and there was just nothing. Uh, both times the leads were dropped. So I have made a slight rig change. Um, I'm still fishing with a hinge stuff and a pink Calypso. Uh, pop up from mainline the limited edition ones because uh, the fish really seem to be on the pink at the moment uh, the rig change I made was to a slightly smaller hook so from a size 4 to a size 6 slightly sharper hook um, and a slightly shorter rig so let's see if that will convert the bites into fish on the bank um, we haven't yet set up the treasure display as it stands. We've just unpacked the truck yesterday. So today, most of the Kingfisher Ambassador team will be here. And um, we'll get on with the hard grind of actually pitching up these displays. Um, so yeah, I think fishing time is going to be very limited today. We're going to focus more on, uh, on treasure stuff. But the rods will be in, like you see here in the background. Chris has he's got Chris has got his three rods in um, on what would be hot spots for this swim. Uh, normally it tends to be day bites anyway. So let's see, Taki, you ready for the hard grind today? As the setup is going to be rough. <laughs> Hopefully I can catch a fish to make it worth it. Exactly. Hopefully our hard work will be paid off with a decent mirror each. Um, <laughs> Dropping lines yeah. in the middle of the night is... is yeah, he, he got here at what? 10 o'clock? And we only managed to drop his last line just past 11, just before 12. Yeah. Um, so after that, we had a quick snack and then it was off to bed with us. Um, cause yeah, like I said, we're gonna, hey, we're gonna have a very, very busy day today, hard graft, but uh, yeah. I haven't seen how much stuff it is, but it sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna want to do it again. Let's just put it that way, but it's worth it at the end of the day. Um, cause we're doing all of this hard work for you guys who have all of these cool and wonderful products in the shops. So, um, yeah, let's get on with the morning and we'll keep you guys posted as to uh, what happens during the day. Maybe a fish. Maybe a fish. <laughs> or two, or three, or all of them. Greed is good. Well done, Detwake. Oh, it's the coffee key. Oh, it's something, eh? Something for the hard work, at least. It's the mirror, mine. It is. It's the original mirror. Oh, nice. 
Nice, Ducky. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so it's underneath this other rod. Just check. There we go. Oh, you are. The audience that put the tail around is tight. <laughs> nice, Ducky. Well done. Well done. Solid to call, Ducky. Yeah. But this one is it's a nice fish though, mm. eh? old but nice, yeah. it's original. Yeah, no, middle. Taki, don't you just want to take that hook out in the mat? No, Otherwise it's going to get out. <laughs> yeah, that fish is going to get out, Taki. Okay. Let's just take it to the mat, the mat's just here. Um, just put it in the sling there, Taki. There's the sling there by Lorenzo. There we go. Yo, touch. Yeah. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Carnage, carnage. Proper original, this, eh? Oh, yeah, it's on the well. on the pink pop-up. Yes. Nice. What's that? The, the, edition? the Calypso, yeah, the limited edition Calypso. Oh, proper original, eh? Oh, come on, come on, come on! Show us a bit of love. Nice, okay. No playing, playing wood. Let's quickly get some photos done and um, get back to work. We're almost done with the trade show display. Well done, Twaki. A little original. Guppy on the bank. Guppy on the bank. Pretty guppy. Pretty guppy. I think this is um, paid off for the effort of today. Eh? Yes, we grafted. We're gonna show the people a bit later all the hard work we put in and what the trade show display looks like. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy this nice little original mirror. It's small, but super welcome, eh? All right. What do you say, Taki? Lacquer. Lacquer. Maybe get a ducker one. Yes, please. Yes, please. Get it? <laughs> well done, Twaki. Not lying. Not lying. Hashtag is coming. Twaki, you can't say on the vlog. Hey, me, I'm now gonna have to beep. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Me. You quite some hard graft today. Too much. Too much. Huh? Working hard. Working Very hard. hard. Too much. But Are everything you? sorted. Everything sorted. Yeah. We're you ready. Fish hard, you know. Very hard. <laughs> Just as hard as we work. Fish hard food. Yeah. And it's well, you look way too light back to put in the graph for yeah. fishing as well. Then you're going to still get to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I got my skitters on. Your skitters, the, the copy skitters. Yeah. 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 We're ready. There's a pata squid. Huh? You have a pata squid. There There's a pata squid. Mine is coming now. No. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Uh, at least we're almost done. And we landed a fish. And we landed a fish. Oh, yeah. Mara. Mara. Mara's Cup original. Mara. Oh yeah, at least we're almost done, then we can have a lack of chill. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, tomorrow it's up early. Five o'clock for you. Yeah, I'm going home early. Fuck, you still gotta go to work, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully you can get a few more freely. Would be nice. Yeah. Luckily, my work's just in this building. Yeah, behind us. I'm going to over there. <laughs> Lucky. Let's finish up Let's and get then some, um, yeah, yeah. get some coffee. Yep. Where's the kettle? No, you must get your rotary. Huh? Hey. 
You must get your rod ready. Where's the kettle? I hear it there somewhere. Oh, nice kettle going. Oh. So we just got to do a bit of tidying up. Finishing touches on the trade show displays. And then we can settle into the evening. Got it is to not catch a guppy tonight. Try <laughs> the game. Unfortunately, can't choose the fish catch. Good morning, guys. Right. I've basically got the whole team here. It's just uh, Jules. There's Lorenzo. There's Lorenzo. And Jules is sleeping. Is Jules still <laughs> sleeping? <laughs> and then Chris, unfortunately, had to go and work. Yep. Um, okay, just a quick update for you guys. So today is the official day, uh, the first official day of the pre-trade show. So we are expecting our first customers today. So um, updates are going to be a bit slow from now on. Um, we won't focus on fishing primarily as this mm -hmm. is all about the customers. However, we will try and do our best to give them the best fishing experience within all of the work chat as well so um, there's still going to be a couple of guys fishing so there's yeah. always a chance for a fish and um, we'll set up the basket for the customers and uh, hopefully they can catch a bass or two yeah and but, then um lorenzo that's hiding there in the yeah. back <laughs> yeah, <in> the <laughs> um we we're gonna leave him and jules on rod patrol for the carp rods that's it yeah. so um yeah we're gonna have a busy day i wanted to show you guys the Pitch displays last night, but the refresh rate on this camera and the lighting we're using inside of that hall was that the, the flickering was just ridiculous. So I'll run through it today. Um, but yeah, let's get the show on the road and uh, see you guys a bit later. Cheers. Cheers. Your fish. The fishing has slowed down a bit. There's a cold front that, that moved in, um, but that of course means that we tend to catch the fish in the deeper water. I'm currently fishing that 35 foot water, again, right hand rod, solid bag, uh, pink essential quads, much of the sameness. We've already had a, a few clients here, already signed a few nice orders. One of our clients actually witnessed us, witnessed us landing this fish so yeah hopefully um we'll get one or two more through the day but uh let me get this one back get back to business good morning guys so it's the second day of the pre-trade show and there's a bit of a chill in the air this morning. Some cloud cover rolling in in the distance. It's proper chilly. Got my water thermal puffer jacket on. And um, yeah, it's interesting to see how that's going to affect the fishing. Unfortunately, I didn't have anything during the course of the night. However, I'm pretty confident for a morning bite especially on the zig I've got out in this area of the dam. I'll tell you guys a bit more about the zig later on, but it hasn't been completely fruitless. I do believe that Lee has a very nice little mirror in the sack. So I think, let me quickly go take a nice hot shower, freshen up, and then um, I think we must go take a look at this fish. And after that, 
get the day started. We've got a few clients coming today. Hopefully we can um, write a few nice orders today and hopefully show these clients another fish or two. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys a bit later. Thank you very Tell us much. a bit more about this fish. Now this fish came on a very special spot in the bay at swim number six and uh, came out on the new Calypso pop-ups from, uh, from Mainline Baits. Special edition. Special edition pop-ups. Uh -huh. I told you you were going to catch a fish on that spot. I was very confident <laughs> too, eh? I couldn't catch a fish there. I kept on losing them. But yeah. So it's good to see one landed. Nice. Let's get some photos done. Kiss it. Kiss it. There we go. <laughs> Let's get some photos done. Let's get back to work. morning guys it's currently four o'clock and i have made the journey to swim 10. we haven't had fish uh, on the swims we were fishing the last well for the time that we've been here so swim seven and eight uh the last three days those swims were completely dead um i would put that down to the fact that it's been very busy on the bank that side we've been doing a lot of casting demos um, you know, entertaining clients, all of that. So I do think the fish uh, pulled out of the area um, and we did see a lot of fish show in, in front of some tent. So um, I thought, why not hedge my bets, uh, make the journey over here for the morning. So I'm probably going to be here from, well, it's just past four now, till about eight o'clock, set out the morning and hopefully I can get a bite. Um, I'm fishing to the two hotspots on, on swim 10. So in other words, to the left hand side in front of the reeds and to the right hand side in front of the grass. Um, I made it fairly easy. I don't know if you guys can see there. Oh, it's going to be difficult to see. I've just got the rods laying on the deck, only fishing two rods. So yeah, let's see. Um, hopefully. I can land that mirror up in after all the start. Um, it's going to be a full run, and I'm waiting for the sun to come out. But they are. Um, the sacrifices we've got to make to catch the fish we want to catch. The fish we want to catch. <laughs> catch up with you guys in a bit.
Well, there we have it. The fish I caught on my little journey to swim 10. I actually sat it out a while longer than I originally planned to because I didn't get the early run I thought I was going to get, but I did see fish in the area. So I thought let's give it a bit more time and it paid off with this. It's not a big fish, but it's a stunning character. Dark colors, funny shape, really cool. Um, haven't had a fish in a few days, so this is the first bite in I think about three days. Um, but I might just make that journey tomorrow morning early again. This is still not the mirror I wanted. So yeah, let's get this one back and continue down.